G'day. Welcome, brother. Welcome. What a shop, eh? What a shop. Someone uh, has to have it. Unbelievable. Stuck out here in the middle uh, of nowhere. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I'm an Auckland refugee. This is close, this is close to everything. <laughs> How are you going? Where are you heading? Well, we're just uh, filming places of interest. We've got a website called googlemo.com. It's a, you, we're YouTubers, and what we do is we put it up on YouTube. Go, brother! So I'm, that, I'm keen. So that people can... Um, there's a lot of people that don't get out and about. No, no, They no, can't no. afford to get out and about. Well, I get a lot of people come in here, actually, and I mean, I, I, I love Google. Yeah. Because people come in here and say, and they're foreigners, often foreign tourists, and they've gone into Manawatu. Sure. And and even though I've never said to Google, please promote me. Yeah. It's promoting me. Oh, for you know, sure. For free. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people go, oh, it's a bad thing, but and people come and say, oh, we've heard about your place. Sure. You know? and yeah. We've seen your place. It looks amazing. You know. <laughs> I just love how that all works. You yeah. Know? Even as I said, I'm not paying them, but they're providing information for everybody. You yeah. Know? Well, YouTube is a good network. Yes. It's yes. full of information. Oh, no. A lot of it's good information. Sure, there's a little bit out there that's uh, a bit, you know, hickory dickory sort yeah, kind yeah, of thing, yeah, you know. Yeah, it's, but, uh, yeah, that's the world we used to yeah. have. That stuff, I think, used to exist, but yeah. it was hidden. Yeah. You know, the, the crazy people were there, but they had to they had to hide. Now they're out in the open. That's it's much, right. It's much safer for the rest of us. That's right. <laughs> so tell me, um, what is your name? Stuart. Stuart. Stuart, Stuart we need a card. So just put the card on the table and we'll film it so that people know where you are. So, Stuart, tell the audience what you've got here. I am an artist working across a wide variety of mediums, especially clay. Sure. Everything in my gallery I've made myself. Right. So this is your gallery here. This is my gallery and everything in here I've made. Right. So that's the ear. That's my uh, way I operate. Right. Show us one of these cups. You make them here. You've got a kiln here. Yes. So I've tell got, everyone about it. I've got uh, three kilns here. Gas, electric. Yeah. And I do a bit of raku. Yeah. I'm, I do traditional pottery, as in I'm throwing things by hand on the wheel. Sure. Which is, is you know, like, re and I've been doing it for 40, 50 years. Wow. Yeah. So I, I, I've been potting for as long as... <laughs> Christ was a cowboy. I, I've, been, I've been potting, and it's gone in and out of fashion about five times. <laughs> pottery is having a renaissance. It is. As a result of the, the virus. Sure. People discover themselves and discover their creativity, yeah. and suddenly everyone wants to pop. And there's another it's aspect beautiful. to it too, Stuart. Microplastics. Microplastics? It's in us. It's, yes. It's invaded us. Yes. It's in everything. Microplastics has infected the world, yes. and it's infecting us. It's in our very tissues. Oh, I'm absolutely And I'm um, absolutely that's sure. why they're doing away with plastic bags. There's a lot of things they're not telling us. Because plastic is not is actually biodegradable. Yes. It just goes back to its oily substance and goes back into the soil because everything came out of the soil, so everything goes back in. Yes. So let's just talk about that for a moment. Uh, Nana Yeager told me that when it rains, uh, uh, all the smog comes down in the rain. It's called acid rain, and it goes into the ground and it gets recycled in a 120-year cycle that there's no such thing as fossil pollution. Sure, there's smog, you know, uh, you, if there's too much of it in one area, you're going to cough. But spread out, it's not doing the atmosphere any harm whatsoever. All the methane and CO2 is taken care of by the aquatic life. Well, 95% of it is anyway. She uh, also came up with, uh, she, was a doc she held a doctorate. She, uh, she's an Austrian girl. And um, she came up with a pick some of these cups up, Stuart, and yep. show the audience while we're talking. Yep, are these parts are universal symbols? Sh show me, show me. Open it up in there. Yeah, give it a tap. 
Wow, solid. Handmade, beautiful clay. Comes from, I get it from Palmerston North. Yeah. He brings his clay in from all over the world. Right. From clay pits, the clay pits in China. Yeah. The mines, we would call it mining, are 2,000 years old. No way. They're still digging it out of the same hole. Jesus, what about those clay warriors? I know. Well, that's, that's the, they're still digging it. They were made 6,000 years ago by the Hun dynasty. I know. And the, the thing with, with clay is. Can we go in there? Well, that's more superannuation fund, but... Yeah. So, you know, uh, like, put it this way. Uh, once upon a time, I was I asked somebody, is that for sale? And they said, no, it's not. Yeah. And then after several oh, several discussions, uh, it was for sale because everything's got a price. Oh, don't worry. People are always trying to buy my superannuation fund. So, you know, I knew a fella in Nongataha. Yes. And he smoked a lot of weed. And he was a real good guy. He didn't bother anyone, and nobody bothered him. And his go was carving yes. and making chairs. He's a Pākehā, by the way, not yeah. a Māori. Yes. But he grew up in Tiaro Springs, and his parents that had that at, at one stage in their lives. So it used to be a you know quite a common tourist spot. I don't know whether it still is or not. And anyway, to, oh, that's your living quarters. Yeah. And, whoops. Oops. And anyway, to cut to these Toby Jugs, they're, they're not made by you. No, no, those are mums. Yeah, I'm sure. a collector. You're a collector. I, 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 I like objects. Objects. People, Who painted these paintings up here? That's my family. And they were painted by a German woman Yeah. in the late 60s, I would say. She went around by word of mouth from house to house. Really? You know, because that's how we didn't have the internet. People were sure. by word of mouth. And that's my son did that one. Wow, that's a good one. And, uh, yeah, she went from house to house. Yeah. And she... Uh, Can we go outside? Yeah, have a look. Yeah. Kaka's garden. Cuckoo. Cuckoo's garden. And I've got a good story about that. <laughs> Who lives next door? That's me. That's, That's my you. workshop. Ah. I thought there was a blonde girl that lived around here somewhere. I'm trying to think what her name was. I can't remember. No. Or was it the next anyway, one over? I, 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 everyone got a, a name when the grandchildren arrived. Yeah. You know, Grandpa and Nana, you know, people start picking their names. I said, oh, I want to be called Kuru. Sounds much more respectful than Grandpa. You know, For Grandpa sure. sounds old. Yeah. You know, Nana sounds, sounds old. Kuru sounds wise. <laughs> So there was never a blonde girl behind the counter here? Never, ever. ever. There must be another place. I had, my ex-wife hasn't lived here for 20 years, and she wasn't blonde. <laughs> okay. Yes, no. Hey, um, so this fella in Ongataha, just to finish yeah. the tale, he was a bit like yourself. He'd make us some furniture. He, he opened a shop up, and he went bankrupt because every time someone came in to buy something, he'd up the price. Oh, yeah. He couldn't bear to part with anything. Yes. <laughs> You're not one of those, are you? I'm, I'm, I'm almost the opposite. I have struggled to take money for things because once I start talking to people, yeah, I've, I feel the connection and I think, oh, look, just have it. <laughs> but, you know, my better judgment, I've managed over the years to not give away too much. Sure. <laughs> so what have we got here? And I've met, you just meet beautiful people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You meet people. Well, so any on. everything's for sale then, really, isn't it, at the end of the day? If someone rocks up with the money, you take it, don't you? Yeah, well, and you I'm, just make another piece. I've got Is that it, right? Well, that, that's a bit of the rule, but I, I do have a rule of, um, as long as I can make things, I don't need to sell the collection. Sure. You've got to draw up, you've got to find a way to, to justify how you're managing it. Oh, <laughs> I understand. Know? Look, because well, these are some of these are 30, 40 years old. It's a whole history. I totally understand. Of, let, me yeah. tell, let me tell you something. I was reading a Reader's Digest, and in there there's some good short stories. Yeah. And there was a story about this guy who got accused of doing something that he didn't do in England. Yeah. So he went and hid in the hedgerows for a week until they found the real culprit, and then his sister came and got him and said, you can come home now. He was a uh, forest gump. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And they're very hard to find, very honest people, you know. Yes. And they just get swallowed by the world because they the world's so... It. 
so crooked you've got to be on you know you've got to be as uh, crooked as the next guy to survive so to speak yes it's, it's it is a distortion isn't it yeah so for example i went to get a job once and i told my boss all the fibs under the sun to get the job because i knew i could deliver yeah now forrest gump wouldn't do that no that's what i'm saying i know exactly what you mean it's called, i call it exaggerating the truth true but you know we it's not lying it's no. completely different <laughs> yeah. you exaggerate the truth yeah <laughs> So to cut to the quick, the ju- a journalist was so intrigued by this guy's week under the hedgerows in England, it's a true story, he went and investigated and slept under the hedgerows to, to experience it so that he could write about it. Yeah. This is a reporter. And this is what he wrote. In this wild abandon that enchants the senses of being above time and death, we quixotically partake the eternal to get out of the mess. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you're doing here, my friend. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Okay. I don't, want, I don't want to have the struggle. Yeah. <laughs> so, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And uh, I'm sure the uh, the crowd, if you get an audience, uh, we've got 92,000 minutes, it's only a new channel. We've got yeah. 92,000 minutes of viewing last month. Wow. Uh, and uh, so hopefully you'll be a megastar. <laughs> Every little bit helps. Okay. <laughs> well, you're an extraordinarily interesting person to me. Where are you going to end up today? I don't know. You don't know. I just, I'm, a, I'm the wandering gypsy. You're the wandering gypsy. Yeah, the wandering gypsy. No, we've had a very, very, this road is very busy with everyone going wow. to Napier. What on earth is that? That, that is from France. My yeah. mum, it was my mum's, she had it. Yeah. What does it say? It says, gentlemen, I kindly request that you discharge their weapons before entering this establishment. Well, you're lucky. <laughs> lucky you didn't bring your gun. I just, <laughs> I just keep one in my boots. <laughs> it's an old saying. If you wanted to win a race in the old days, yeah. you had to go and ask the, the highwayman which was the best breed to buy. <laughs> eh? And you don't worry about security? I see you haven't got bars across the windows. Or... Oh, no. Look, luckily, people don't rob artists. Yeah. You know, what if I've got nothing to steal. Sure. <laughs> I don't own anything. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's valuable in the traditional sense. Yeah. So where are we? What's this area? Rewa. Rewa. Rangatiki. Rangatiki. And how's the best way to get here? State Highway 54. So you come off State Highway 1? Just on State Highway 54, going to Palmerston North. Yeah. This is the shortcut to Palmerston North. Yeah. And this is the main road to the Wairarapa. Right. And that's why it's a busy road. Because it, 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 it's, if you want to go to the vineyards and, and, and out to those right. places, this is this is the way everyone goes. Yeah. So, au revoir then. Au revoir. <laughs> Safe Good. travels. Yes. Has you got a dog in that box? We well, do indeed. Would you like her? No, uh, no. I've had a few rescue dogs come through from there. She's a rescue. Is she? Yeah, she's in pup. Oh. There's five thousand dollars worth of pups in her. Oh. <laughs> That'll give you something to do. There's a hundred thousand dollars worth of dogs for sale on trade me. I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. They all be worth that much. Yeah. Tally ho. <laughs> Tally ho. Googlemo.com. Push the like button and subscribe. That's what we require to keep this channel moving.